Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to um, Pieces of My Art. My name is Laurie Rockwell and we've been drawing and watercoloring together for a couple months now. It's hard to believe. March, April, May, maybe. Yeah, I would say we've done a good eight weeks of this. I haven't even looked to see how many videos are on there. So thank you guys for being part of this with me. I've had so much fun with it. Um, as we're winding down our daily painting classes, we'll still have some other things coming up once I kind of regroup my thoughts and figure out what's going to be best as we move forward um, with summertime going on. But I still want to be doing this with you. I don't, I know it won't be every single day, but plenty of videos to go back and look through and paint from. If you missed any, it should keep you busy for a long time. So what is, if I did eight weeks and I haven't done five a day every week, but I bet there's a good 35 videos on there for you guys to paint with if you haven't caught them all. But thank you for being part of it. We are going to do ice cream cones today. So excited. School is almost done. Yay for kids and yay for moms and dads and all the people that were part of and teachers. Man, you guys have done awesome trying to adapt to this completely new style of learning. Um, you guys have done awesome. So hats off to you. So we're going to paint an ice cream cone because we're all going to celebrate with an ice cream cone. I had mine yesterday. I can't have another one today because I just shouldn't have it every day. But anyways, I love ice cream. This is going to be fun. So we let me get over on the other chair and Caden will join us here and we'll paint mm -hmm. ice cream. Oh, Diddy's going to come too. Here's Diddy. He doesn't need ice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Diddy. He's leaving. He, he, nobody even got to see him. The black cat called Lightning. Not really. All right, let's get this down here so you guys can see. And we already done an ice cream cone. We did a cupcake, not ice cream cones. This is different. So I can tell you right now, Caden will be done with his and off back to his bedroom. He has got his. 16 trillion Legos all out over his floor. And once he starts doing that, um, that's all he wants to do. So he's gonna get done and take off. I'm just trying to get the video pulled up so I can see who is joining us today. Sheila, welcome. All right, we are ready to go keep seeing some lighter clouds. I went and got my car washed and then it started drizzling. And so, but since I've been home, it looked like the sun might pop out. It's supposed to this afternoon. Of course, it was supposed to yesterday and we didn't see it for a long time. Okay, I have my watercolor paper here and I have my Sharpie and I have my Crayola watercolor paint set. And this is a mixing color set. I should clean that lid off so you can see it better. But this has been what I have been using to demonstrate all these cool drawings and painting tutorials with you for the last two months. I love mixing my own colors and I love this particular Crayola brand because the colors are so vivid and bright and we like bright and colorful. So anyways, all right, let's go with this. Sheila, it looks like it's you and me right now. We'll see. I feel like things are really dying down as far as who's around, which I don't blame you. We ran up to Omaha yesterday to see my um, one of my girls, which was nice to go see her. And so I know a lot of other things are going on now as we head into summer and everybody's wanting a desperate break from being stuck at home. All right, so we're going to start with, I want, I'm going to do a stack of ice cream on a cone. How many dips can we fit on there? So I want to make sure I leave space to have plenty of room for my ice cream. So I want my cone to not be any higher than halfway. We could put it halfway and just see how many um, dips of ice cream you could fit or I'm going to scoot it down just a tad. Now I don't want to make the line across the top of the cone yet. I'm just going to make a big B. And that's a, this is going to be a waffle cone. It's a little bit more, more, it's wider than what I thought, but that's all right. We'll make a waffle cone. I like waffle cones. 
I'm going to kind of round the bottom a little bit. All right, now it folds over. So I am going to take, okay, before I do any details on the comb, let's put some ice cream on this first. I just want, you know how when you scoop it out and you have the nice ball and then you have all the edges around it where it's, where they really dig into it and this part didn't fit in the big round spoon. So I'm going to make this part first and I'm not gonna go up above it yet. I'm just doing the sides and I'm doing little sketchy lines for this. That way I don't draw across the top of my comb because I want my ice cream to be dripping down here. I'm also gonna go ahead and add a drip of ice cream because there's so much ice cream on this cone that it's dripping ice cream. So I did a drip and then another little drip. So now I have the place where I wanna make my waffle cone or sugar cone. So it folds over. So I'm gonna make a line going across like that. And then I'm just gonna make cross lines and you don't have to go real solid with this. If you don't want to, we'll let the paint kind of do the thing when we do that. So I'm just making all of my angle lines going from top right to bottom left. And then I'm gonna make my other lines kind of scooping over the top. So kind of rounding over this way, a little bit more angled from side to side rather than top to, to bottom. And see, I'm not doing solid lines. So when we watercolor it, we'll be able to add to this. So there is my waffle cone. All right, you ready to do all the scoops? So I don't want to put a top, even though it's rounded. If the spoon was put in this, when we had a one dip ice cream cone, we have a big round scoop, but I don't want that. So I'm just going to do part of the round. I'm going to stop. Look at your ice cream, Caden. It could go taller. What about a cherry on top? You ordered from wrong color. Wrong color? Dab it up. What color are you looking for? Just dab it. Don't wipe it. Wipe it. Okay, so now I'm going to make another. We got ice cream from Freddy's yesterday, and Caden just wanted to make sure it had a cherry on top. That was all that mattered to him. But it didn't. It didn't? No. You didn't tell me that. We would have gone all the way back to Omaha and get a cherry for your ice cream. Well, that was a ripoff. They put it in the picture. Okay, so I also want to do the top um, side of these scoops. So this, this part down here, this ice cream is sticking out closer to us. So I want a little bit of lines going through here. And you see I kind of slope it down to give the rounded look to it? I can't make red. It's orange. Do you need a clean plate? You need to wash your lid out again. Okay, don't, and first off, Kaden, you don't ever smash your brush down like that. That ruins the tips. Here. Red is yellow and orange. Here's a clean plate you can use. Or there's somewhat clean plate. Yeah, use that red. That's it? You're done? No, I'm just going to have to draw. Uh, do your splatters? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's not done. kind of making some of these little rounded pieces so when I paint them we'll make them where they look like they come closer to us. Alright. I don't want to get too many lines in here that gets kind of busy. Alright, I'm just gonna keep stacking ice cream on until I get to where I'm ready to put a cherry on top. So tell me if you're watching what's your favorite ice cream. When you're not painting, you can tell me that. I like custard, so I do like Freddy's. Kina. Oh, I like it. Good job, Kina. Are you seeing it? I think so. 
Looks good. What flavors are it? Pistachio and lemon, chocolate and blueberry, mm -hmm. something like that. What's the bottom? What's the orange one? Orange. Orange. Okay, cool. Delicious. All right, I'm going to stop with this one, huh? I'm going to put my cherry on top of this. Where's my hair? My hair. Okay, ready for a cherry. I'm going to go back and play Legos. All right, go play Legos. I'll paint. I put a little divot in the middle of my cherry. This is where my stem is going to come out. All right, so there is my cone. Um, I'm gonna paint it, but I'm gonna write ice cream at the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to go back on my lettering here and I'm going to make all of my downstrokes wider. Now I'm going to just start by adding an extra line and then I can go back and color it in. So all the places I went up, I went down. All the places I went down, I'm adding an extra line that I'll fill in with my Sharpie. And I can just go back and color it in. All of my downstrokes have the second line. I don't know if you can hear Caden dunking Legos. I have, I hear them. Um, Legos have been huge. We have six boys, and he's the youngest. So we've had 30. 31 years. No, not really. I guess we didn't get them when they were babies, but a good 25 years of Legos accumulate in this house. So that's a lot of Legos. All right, so now I'm going back and coloring and these. Now I'm only going to do ice and then I'm going to watercolor so that way we can get the painting going. And I can do the ice cream later. So see how I colored in all in between those. All right, so let's paint. Um, so what I want to do on my waffle cone, so I want to get a brown color. Since I have mixing colors, I got to make my brown. And I already have all these colors kind of mixed on my lid here. So I'm going to just come in right here in the middle. I have some purple and black. Whoops. I am just going to add yellow and with my purple and black. And I think I'll get brown, sure enough. That's all it took. Because yellow and purple make brown. And if I want a little bit more of a redder brown, I'll pull some of this um, pinkish red color orange over there. All right, so that's all it took. I don't want it really heavy, so I'm using a wet brush, but not drippy. And I want my darkest, I want to paint my darkest color. It's too watery. I'm going to pick up some of that. I want the darkest brown. I'm painting squares inside of each of these boxes that we made. And then we'll add a lighter color in between after this dries. But that way I have a little bit of a lighter line. So it's going to kind of give the look of the shadow and the highlight to give a little texture to our cone. That way it makes it look 3D.
I'm using my smallest round brush here. It's a round four. to be open so I can hear all the birds singing. I feel like Spring is kind of having a hard time making up her mind whether she wants to be full on Spring or March like Spring because I feel like it's been more on the cool and cloudy although we haven't had tons of rain here. We're not flooding like we were last year. I went up to see my daughter in Omaha um, yesterday with my oldest daughter and Caden. So the four of us went up because the week before was Joanna, her birthday. And so we went up and bought flowers and some planters and kind of Caden mowed her yard and we kind of did a little curb appeal for her since we didn't get to be with her on her birthday last year. So that was fun. Um, but anyways, I forgot where I was going with that. Just, oh, it was cloudy and it was humid. But we were just like, when's the sun? All day it's supposed to come out. And it never did. We saw the sun driving home about, about sunset. It was just glorious. The color. I love the color of the sun as it goes across all the fields in the springtime when everything's so green and lush. And the yellows and the greens, the lime green colors, just beautiful. And then that contrast with the sky and the clouds and the sun was setting was kind of a purple color. And it was inspiring me to want to paint a total a sunset picture like that of good old countryside. So for those that are in my heart club group, be watching for that because we'll probably do something like that. All right, time to make our ice cream. So this is where I want to do the wet on wet technique. So I'm going to take my brush that comes with my paint and I'm getting the outside edges of each of these little sections wet with that. So we'll just pick some colors. So I'm going to start with some purple so it'll be kind of some blueberry ice cream. Whoops, I just put my brush in black. That's not what I wanted, purple. So it'll get a little bit blueberry look on her or blackberry ice cream. I don't know. There's so many kinds of ice cream. I always like to get vanilla because I always get overwhelmed with all the flavors. I love vanilla ice cream though. I love to taste the vanilla in it. The vanilla bean ice cream is one of my all time favorites, but I like a lot other. I don't like the candy kind of ice cream. But I do like vanilla. All right, I feel like that should have just, I'm taking a teeny bit of turquoise, just a little bit in that. Not much. I feel like it's a little brighter than I want. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to soak up some of this in the middle. I still leave color on there, but I'm just absorbing a little bit of the paint in the middle part because that's the part that, if you were looking at it in real, would be closest to us is the ice cream spreading out over the edge of the cone. All right. I like it. I'm going to put a little bit more purple in there. The edges I do darker because it gives the shadow. All right, so it's dripping off, so I need some color in my drips. And it's that purple that's dripping. I need my little brush. All right. So we're going to get the, this part of this. Again, the edges are going to have the water. 
And that's okay on this one for those little blooms to happen. dark at those where the scoop part is, the way the rounded scoop is and where these come out. So just a little bit of turquoise in this. And I might brush on its side a little bit, just kind of dabbing some of that water in there. I like it. Okay. Um, next color. Let's do, I need to be careful because this is really wet. So actually, I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do a lemon color ice cream. So I'm going to do yellow. I'm getting this section wet and then get some good clean yellow here. crazy heavy on the water here. So I'm just wiping my brush off on the paper towel and I'm letting my brush absorb a little bit of this water right across the center of this. So it'll pull a little color out as well as absorb up some of that water. Okay, now I'm gonna get the scoop above it, so I'm adding the water in there. Just gonna kind of go around the edges. I want it to stay almost white in the middle. All right now, I want to get a good concentration of yellow for right in. Again, I got way too much water. I'm getting a glare on here. I can't see very well. I ordered a new light for doing my painting tutorials. So hopefully it'll come soon and we'll have a little bit better lighting. I don't feel like it's been bad for using a floor lamp on a ceiling chandelier in my dining room. And most of the time it's cloudy weather outside, but I feel like it's done pretty good. But I think we'll like the new light even better. Okay, so I only did four scoops of ice cream. I didn't even count what I had. So I think I want a strawberry and I want a chocolate. Well, I like vanilla, but we want color. So um, I'm trying to think what other there's pistachio would be good. Maybe we'll do a instead of chocolate. Let's do pistachio so we're not having too much um, too much drab colors. We'll brighten it up with a little green. Hayden got a good pistachio on his. I'm picking up some of this right out of the middle of that one. And I think I'll do it on this one too. Plus it'll help it dry better. All right, so we got a pink and a green. So let's do Let's do pink. We'll do the strawberry at the top and then the pistachio in the middle. Now I'm going to switch it because my cherry is going to be red. So we're going to do strawberry here, pistachio here. Okay, so I want to be really careful on this. I'm going to get my little brush. Where my purple stops, I may go back and add a little darker, but I don't want my water to touch my purple if I can help it. I always say that and then I always touch it somewhere. Okay, so I have that. 
All right, so I don't want a really bright pink. So I don't have any really clean area. So here's my red violet. It's probably too much. So I am gonna come over here and I'm gonna get my white. We don't use white much because it's hard for you to see. So I'm adding white in this first. And I just touched the purple. You know what, it'll be okay since we're doing the pink. So now I wanna put some pink in this. But because I have the white, it's going to keep it a lot lighter. I remember where I'm getting my paint from. So I got all my pink around. Here's my white, so, and it's okay to have little specks of more brighter pink. Maybe pieces of strawberry in there. Oops, just got my white wet. Or not wet, got pink in my white. So now you can see the little pieces of strawberry in my strawberry ice cream. That would probably be a good second or maybe third on flavors for me. My probably one of a favorite fruit ice cream would be homemade peach ice cream. Doesn't that sound delicious? I need to quit talking about ice cream. I did my ice cream yesterday, so I'm good. All right, my brush is kind of yellow. These are really gonna start bleeding together, but it'll too much water. Okay, back to my pink in here. It's going to get a little on the peachy side because of that yellow. I'm trying to get white in here to get my pink a lighter color. I have it. Oh, that looks yummy. Couple places of, oops, just some of the darker. All right, so there's my strawberry ice cream. All right, pistachios last and then the cherry. So we want, I already got kind of a pistachio green on my lid right here. So I'm gonna get my, let's start up here where I don't have, the water's getting a little color in it. So I'm gonna start up here where I don't have to worry about anything touching it. So I can get my color that I want. So pistachio is a favorite because my mom, for her birthday, her birthday is March 17th. She celebrates in heaven now, so we don't get to celebrate with her yet. But anyways, she had always, since it was St. Patrick's Day, she, we would make this pistachio 
cake and it's delicious and so my kids love it so now it's kind of a favorite request for birthdays I'm trying to think what color I'll make a little bit more of this you probably can't see me at all sorry so I'm taking my yellow here because I ran out of that pistachio green I'm gonna just take a little bit of the purple I don't want much so it'll kind of turn it a little brown, probably partly because it's just a little, it's got some other colors in it. Now I'm gonna take a little of the turquoise into this. So then I can get my pistachio green color. So I used my yellow, a little bit of the blue violet, and a little teeny bit of turquoise to just green it up just a little bit. be mint chocolate chip too. Okay, let me clean my white off. And I'm gonna add a little white. Oops, man, I should get that black off there. It wants to keep getting in there. Can you see it? I need a clean paper towel too, that would probably help. All right, so I'm taking some of this white. I just wanna put it in the middle. Keep my green a little creamier, lighter color. A little ice creamier. All right, I'll let those dry a minute, but I love this. So now I'm gonna grab my little round brush and I'm gonna come down here at the bottom. And I want kind of a, I don't want a real bright yellow, but I want kind of more of a yellow. So this brown that we did earlier, I'm gonna add a little yellow to it. Just to get it a little more of a golden color. Okay, I don't wanna use much and I want it kind of diluted. I wipe it on this drop cloth here a lot just to kind of get. So now I'm gonna just go in around all of my little squares with this golden yellow, or golden tan, golden brown color. And I'm not making sure I'm getting every bit of this painted. So there's still gonna be a few places that you'll see the white and painted paper. said I'm not doing every bit and now I'm going back and doing just about every bit but there'll still be some places okay so I want to do one more thing here let me see if I can get just like a dark I'm taking a little black to this now and I want to get a really dark brown color going on so I'm making my black and then that golden color just to get a good dark brown okay so I have a really dark and I'm just gonna make it L inside on the same two sides left and bottom doesn't matter which two sides you do just as long as it's consistent on right on the first square we painted in so it kind of gives it a little bit more of a 3d like our waffle cone has the Um, little indentations in it from the shape of the waffle cone. You can also 
wants to do a little bit more like underneath your ice cream because it's hanging over. So it just makes it darker there. And then you could do a little bit. I just set my hand on my comb here. Around any drips. You just got to be careful that, well, I don't know if it matters if some color gets out on that. But anyways, it'll make your drip look like I shouldn't have done it on. You only need to do one side. Make the shadow make sense here. Anyways. All right, that was fun. All right, so now let me finish my cherry. Now we'll do the cherry and then I'll color in of my ice cream board. So I'm gonna take my red orange, get it wet. I'm gonna start with that for my cherry. And you could leave a little piece of it unpainted so it would make it look like it was light. So I just left a little part of this. It makes it look more round. Okay, so that was just the red orange. Now I'm going to just take a little of my red violet and put in it too. Just kind of on the left side so it's not all of it. So that gives, um, and now it's running down. But that's okay, there's cherry juice on it. The cherry juice dripped right down on my ice cream cone. How cool is that? I think this is a favorite. I like this painting. Um, I might be able to, with my dirty paper towel, step off a little of that where I drug my hand through and I was able to clean that off. All right, so let's come back. And color in the rest of my letters. Sometimes I'll kind of straighten them out a little bit when I go back and color them. Try to keep the width of the color to in part uniform as much as I can. See my E's wider, but all the rest of them aren't quite that wide, so I'm not going to go back and make them all wider. use um, Crayola markers are really good markers to start with the big fat ones for doing um, practicing your lettering and plus you could do a color that matched it or I could have not colored those in and painted them with watercolor to match my ice cream cone and that would have been a cool idea too so all kinds of things you can do but anyways here is today's thank you guys for hanging out I know that a lot of you have a lot going on but if you're catching the replay, say hello, share your pictures. I love to see your paintings, um, what you can't come up with. And you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. And we will see you on Friday for our last official one. Like I said, I will be doing more throughout the summer, but I haven't quite figured out exactly what and when um, and how often. So anyways, would love your feedback. What, what um, is important to you? what you know how often you would like to see it um on there i know there's probably most of you haven't done all of them but i know that there are some of you that have done quite a bit of them so anyways i would love your feedback um share this with anybody you think would enjoy doing some painting classes this will be great for kids in the summertime um, when we just need a break. I don't know if public pools will be open this year or not. It kind of makes me sad because I love taking Kate into the pool. Um, but anyways, you guys, again, thank you so much. And we will talk to you on Friday. See you then.